what do the Chargers do at five? Do they need to take a wide receiver at five? Yeah, all of a sudden, you know, things at number five have gotten way more interesting. It's a very good wide receiver class, especially at the very top. We've talked about Marvin Harrison Jr. We've talked about Malik Neighbors, Romo Dunze, how I think you could plop them and basically most teams in the NFL. And if they're not the wide receiver one, they're a high end wide receiver two. And so that's how talented all of these guys are. I think any of them, if you put them on the Chargers depth chart, they uh, probably lead the team in targets next year. With those guys in range of being picked, what do you do at number five? If Minnesota doesn't trade up with them, let's say Minnesota trades up to four. So now you've got four quarterbacks that we think are going to go off the board. One, two, three, four. It's fascinating ripple effect that we are seeing with the Chargers. It all kind of depends where they're going.